you give a trader a peak or a trough and they will find a way to draw trend lines that may or may not have any use whatsoever in the trading. Like most forms of technical analysis, trend lines are often abused, misused, and for the most part are not drawn with really any sort of consistency. They can be very useful, but virtually like anything else in your trading plan, you have to find consistency in how you use them. So let's look at what trend lines mean and then list out a few ways you can draw them. We're then going to follow up with a one, two, three reversal made popular by Trader Vic. Now markets go up, they go down, they go sideways. And when a market's trending, looking at the impulse and corrective swings can tell you the strength or the weakness of a trend. When a market's trending up, we expect to have impulse moves that are larger in length than the corrective declines against the trend. Now this shows that the demand is still high for the particular market. When those who were interested in buying starts to thin out, we start to see the impulse moves getting shorter and losing steam. We may start to see the corrections begin to increase in size. Now there's going to come a time when the buyers are done and supply enters the market. When this occurs, we will start to see the correction larger in scope than the impulse moves. This graphic here shows a typical uptrend in action, large thrusting impulse moves with smaller corrections. Now what we see habit at number one is that the demand for this instrument is beginning to stall, although the corrections are not showing an increase in supply at this time. When the last push upwards occurs, supply enters the market, and you can see that the rhythm of the uptrend has been broken at number two. Our corrective declines much larger than the impulse move, and we also took out previous lows. Now, being in tune with the swings in this example can give you a heads up to either lighten a position or refrain from entering any new long positions. Once momentum to the downside occurs, this may be the time to exit a position. This next image shows a trend line connecting the lows, which can help you determine when a change of state in the market has occurred. This does not mean a trend change, but it's a visual clue that at this point in time, what was a steady uptrend has met some strong supply. The next possible actions that could occur include a retest of the highs, consolidation, a complex correction, which simply means there's really not a trade set up at this particular moment. We've simply had buyers not supporting the market at the current price. You'll see two smaller lines, and as the market kept making new highs, we were presented with new lows to attach our trend line to. This is called trend line fanning, and it's used to track the rate of the trend during the up move. The line with the arrow would be the latest line drawn in keeping with this method of drawing a trend line. Now, what we often see in a market is a steady trend move and then a burst of activity where price will quickly advance in the direction of the current trend. This can be very tricky as some traders may look at that as intense interest in the market and look to position in the direction. Other traders will look at the same move as being out of the ordinary advance of the trend, stand aside, thinking that we have a climax or an exhaustion move in the instrument. In this graphic here, our number one trend line can neatly meet the lows, which shows the market is moving in more or less consistent volatility. The number two line shows the market has strongly advanced as our impulse moves have become much more intense, giving us swing lows outside the volatility of the previous part of the trend. As more people pile into this move, it sets the stage for a sudden and violent drop in price as the corrective decline wipes out both trend lines and a previous swing level. Now, there are a few strategies to take a trade when these events occur, but that's outside the scope of this particular piece. If you're so inclined, you could research taking a pullback trade short after sudden moves like this, as those looking to short step in and those traders that got trapped in their long positions get out of their position when they see that a pullback to re-engage the trend has failed. Now, the bottom line with these sudden and often violent surges in price is that you could be looking at a top, at least in the short term, in the current move and those longs are about to weather a sudden move against their position. These are not the times to establish a new position in the uptrend until you see what price does after the move. Don't let the fear of missing out on a trade lead you to jump in just as the market begins to turn. 